my name is Zach Lehman. Uh, I'm, t oops, I'm 23 years old. Um, I'm a sophomore here at CMU. Uh, I'm in the early, early childhood development program. I originally got interested in the child care and development program um, through working at my church in the daycare center. Um, I've done a lot of stuff like summer camps and stuff like that. Um, and like through my church, we go on uh, mission trips where we do vacation Bible school. So uh, in the future, I want to do that as more of a profession, like uh, going on trips like that, especially with the Peace Corps, uh, different organizations. And that's one of the big degree programs that they look for. The moment I knew I wanted to go into child care was probably in Guatemala. Um, just seeing the difference I made and just looking into those kids' eyes and seeing the impact that I'm making in their lives, it's just like one of those moments where you go, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I do my observation hours at Pullen Elementary School in Mount Pleasant. Um, I go there. Um, I need to do 10 hours uh, for the class that I'm in right now. And you really, you just... You, you watch the teacher, see what they're doing, see what I can learn, you know, uh, see, uh, see what I can implement in my own classroom eventually and get a feel for, you know, what it, what it would be like if you were that person up there um, teaching these kids. He wants to be a teacher. He loves it. That, there's a difference. There's people you meet, you just know they're teachers, and there's others that aren't. You've got to love it, period. If you don't, you're not going to cut it as a teacher. It's a really hard job. Um, and if you look at it as a job, I'm just going to my job, you're not going to make it. It's got to be something more than that. I think he's doing excellent. He's opened up. He's very comfortable with the kids. He's willing to kind of just go with the flow. And so when things, as they do with second graders, kind of have to change and be spontaneous sometimes. It's like you plan with the idea that those plans are never going to be concrete. He's gotten really good with it. He kind of just looks at it and goes, this is what we're going to do now. What can I do next? Okay. And, and so he's... He's doing great. Uh, so my plans uh, for childcare after graduation is first and foremost the Peace Corps. Uh, just that's my whole passion right now is just going into the Peace Corps right now um, and seeing where that takes me. If that takes me, you know, to a Montessori school, so be it. Um, if that takes me to a public school or any type of school, I just want to teach. You know, I just want to be. I want to be there. Uh, making that next generation the best it can be. I mean, at the end of the day, education uh, is, is the key to everybody's future, and these kids don't get the education uh, that they need or that they deserve. Um, and I, I'll put it to you this way in a metaphor. Uh, teaching is like a bridge. Uh, so a lot of these kids, maybe they can physically bridge that gap between where they are right now um, and a better life. But uh, metaphorically, they can't bridge that themselves. So all I want to do is be that bridge for them uh, so they can cross over to, to all their dreams and aspirations.